Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so example one here. And in this example, we're going to learn how to solve this recurrence relation. This recurrence relation is of degree two. And it will turn out that the characteristic equation of this recurrence relation will have two distinct roots. And since it's degree two, the characteristic equation will be quadratic. But yeah, this subtitle to example one is suggestive. It's saying that we do something different when the roots are repeated. And that's in fact the case. We deal with repeated roots in examples three and five. But uh, with that said, although this is example one, I already have three videos on solving recurrence relations. And all three videos are very useful to your overall understanding. So you should watch all three of them. But at minimum, you should watch the last video I made on the general approach to solving recurrence relations. Um, because I'm not going to repeat most of what I said in that video here. But I will repeat a little something I said at the start of that video on the general approach. Which is that we start by looking for solutions of the form a sub n equals r to the n. Now with this handy, first notice that I can get my recurrence relation to equal 0 if I move these two guys to the left. And then I can substitute for a sub n with r to the n and substitute with um, r to the n minus 1 for a sub n minus 1 and you get it. So if I do all that, what I just said, then first our recurrence relation here in this example can be written this way. And then with this substitution that a sub n be r to the n, we can turn it into this. And now notice that this here, this equation, uh, in all three terms on the left, uh, we can factor out r to the n minus 2. And if we do, then we can write this. And before we move forward, I'm going to say a little something that was implicit in the general approach video, but wasn't explicitly said, which is that if a sub n equals r to the n is a solution, then so is lambda times r to the n, right? Also, um, if b sub n and d sub n are solutions like this, then so is a sub n equals b sub n plus d sub n. This, these two facts are easy enough to prove, and they're easy enough to see, so I'm not going to uh, prove them here. But yeah, I just wanted to explicitly point them out because they're only implicit in the general approach video. Yeah? Okay. All right. Uh, so where to uh, from where we left off? Well, clearly we can divide both sides of this last equation by um, this guy here, r to the power n minus 2. And if we do, then we get what I refer to as the characteristic equation or what's referred to as the characteristic equation in the general approach video I pointed out that the characteristic equation is very very important to solving recurrence relations and it is as you'll see here uh, in this example and uh, if you watch the general approach video then you don't need to do everything else I did prior to showing the character the characteristic equation <laughs> sorry uh, so you can just jump into the characteristic equation uh, from the general approach video and get started from there yeah okay once you figure out what your characteristic equation is solve it and uh, see if you have distinct roots repeated roots and so on here uh, as I said uh, we have distinct roots and they're going to be r is equal to 2 and r is equal to negative 1 so that means that the only thing left to determine are the two constants uh, alpha and beta because we now have the uh, general solution to a recurrence uh, relation that is like this. So any recurrence relation that's like this, right? Uh, a sub n equals a sub n minus 1 plus 2 times a sub n minus 2 will have a solution that's exactly like this. Uh, and of course, if you're given initial conditions, then you can solve for alpha and beta to get the particular solution as opposed to the general solution, which we're done with here. This is the general solution to that. Yeah? Okay. To find the particular solution, uh, like I said, we need initial conditions. And so let's say here that we're given the initial condition that uh, a0 is 2 and a1 is 7. Yeah? Okay. Then we can use these two and uh, write that 2, a0, is equal to, well, this means that n is 0. So alpha times uh, 2 to the 0 plus beta times negative 1 to the 0. This simplifies nicely, right? to just that okay cool and then we can use a second uh, initial condition and write a second equation uh, involving alpha and beta and that's this right okay okay and so then we get a second equation on alpha and beta and so we can solve for two unknowns using two equations always right and here all we have to do is just add the two equations and the betas will cancel 
and so we get this which is alpha is 3 and from knowing alpha is 3 it's easy enough to see that beta has to be negative 1 so the particular solution uh, to this recurrence relation with the initial condition that a0 is 2 and a1 is 7 is this fella here yeah okay cool this is it for example one but like i said at least four more examples to come so i hope you enjoyed this and keep watching take care